Okay, the name of the parameter can be anything we want. Yes. Here we will use C as the parameter name. Now, if the word parameter is confusing to you, it's because you probably didn't watch the video. And if you did watch the video, you weren't paying careful attention because they were teaching you everything you need to know to do this section, including the word parameter. Now, we use, if C is our parameter, go to and we can see that we're using C, we know we don't want anything in here but that C. So I'm going to take away pile and put C. So now I have a go to function that looks correct. By now you should know exactly what a go to function should look like. And if you don't, it's because you haven't been noticing. And it's really important you notice the code that they write for you because it's going to help you moving forward. So now we need to add some more code. So let's work through this. We're going to go to the bridge. We're going to go to the match. We're going to grab it. Then we're going to go back to the bridge. Ah, so from the bridge, we're going to go to the pile. And then we're going to drop the thing I frequently forget to do. You don't have to take away the comments. Comments can stay in code. If you remember when you learned about them in the video earlier in the course, the comments don't change anything. They're just notes. In fact, deleting the comments, <laughs> deleting the comments frequently causes people to lose track of their work because they forgot what they said.